stuffed quails. Those little birds, they're delicious, they're easy. You know, a lot of you might be squeamish, why? Well, they're so easy to stuff, to cook, and they are delicious. And people like them, really like them. But let's get going with the stuffing. Because the stuffing, any stuffing that you make for any bird needs to be done before, needs to cool off before you stuff it in the bird. Bread is kind of the underlining, pull together the whole stuffing. Here I have some whole wheat bread, you know, any bread that you have uh, left over. So let's get the bread, the old bread. Let it soak well. I'm looking, this, this bread is thirsty, so let's add some more. Okay, let's put the bread on the side and we'll begin with the stuffing. A little bit of olive oil, a little bit of butter, some chopped onions. Okay, while the onions are wilting, sausages, Italian sausages, and take it out of the casing. Celery, celery ribs, but also the celery leaves are great for stuffings. And let's break up the sausage. Now when you have sausage like that, or when you have chopped meat, adding a little bit of wine to the meat and then mixing it, it will break the meat down so it doesn't stay in those big lumps. Okay. And I don't want the onions and all that to be completely wilted because then they'll bake in the oven with the Quail, so a little bit of crunch is good. Let's add the meat to this now. Scallions are great for stuffings, and of course, mushrooms. Uh, diced, add them right on. Let me see, I'm looking at this, maybe I'll get some. Let's add the scallions, a little bit of salt. We'll just deglaze with a little bit of wine. And high temperature, you want the alcohol to dissipate, you want the acidity, the flavor of the wine and you always want to use drinkable wine for cooking. Okay, this part of the stuffing looks like it's done, and we're gonna just empty it all in this bowl, collect everything, and you want it to cool completely, so spread it out. And you want a rather large bowl because we're gonna add the bread in here and some cheese and all that, and we'll turn it into a delicious stuffing. I was blessed of growing up in a setting that really connected me to food, to the earth. And that is with my grandmother raising uh, animals, chicken, ducks, uh, goats, pigs. So I was blessed in that setting and I really was connected. Stuffed quails, delicious. I told you I was gonna show you how to make them. Get the oven going, 400 degrees. You know, they're tiny, they cook quickly, but you want them high temperature so they get caramelized. A nice roasting pan, a pan that has a substantial kind of thickness. Uh, so a little bit of butter, a little bit of oil. And I have the fire going underneath here. So let's say the mushrooms. So let's cut them up. Okay, let's put them right in. So here is the stuffing that we made. It is room temperature, so that's great. And the bread has soaked up a lot of the milk. So you want to squeeze out as much of the milk as you can and crumble the bread right into the stuffing.
parsley. Let's see. And let's uh, grate it uh, cheese, and that will pull things together, and that has salt as well. Let me get in. That's it. Mix it well. So, so the stuffing is all set. And I'm looking at the mushrooms. Okay, going along well. I'll put some wine in here. And the quail. Quail, you know, you can buy them this way. They're boneless. They have bones in the extremities, in the legs and things, but the inside is all boneless and they're great to stuff. So let's see, you kind of hold the, the quail, open it up and just kind of with your fingers press in. You don't want to overstuff the quail because it will, as it cooks, it kind of tightens a little bit and then it will be, it will explode for you. So I'm looking at this little bird here. I want it to look nice. I want to put the, the wings underneath. If you're concerned about the legs really opening up for you, you can just put a toothpick and then you can take it out. So just firm it like that. And let's put one in. So I'm looking again here. Let's put the wing underneath the body, rest it in my hand and begin to stuff it. Okay, so a little dab of butter on each one of them, just like that. Just a little bit of salt. And we have the oven hot at 400 degrees. You put it in uncovered just like that. And about half an hour, it will be ready and delicious. So the quail is done. It's perfect. Now, I think I would like to taste one. You think I deserve one? I think so. So let me take this little guy here. Just like that. Mm -mm. I would put some sauce on the side, maybe not as, not as much on top. I think I'll take out that toothpick. Well, that looks pretty good. I have my wine ready. A little rosé, I think that will go good. That one is made from Refosco. You know, rosé can be made from any red wine. But enough of the wine story. Let's go into the quail. So the stuffing, oh God, it's tender. Mm. That was delicious. That is delicious. A little vino. And I did a tasting for you, but you know, this needs to get on the table soon. <laughs>